7.35 is your time. New this morning, honoring Epi Johnson. Today, dozens of people are remembering the late founder of Epi's Great Race, all ahead of next Saturday's race. KCR 3 is Leticia Ardaz joining us live now from along the American River with this special tribute. Good morning, Leticia. Well, good morning, May. It's going to be a very emotional tribute here along the American River. In fact, dozens of kayakers will be in the water, and they're going to be throwing some flowers in the water. And what we have here is Epi's original kayak. They actually brought it out here and refurbished it. It's 41 years old, and it looks pretty good, if you ask me. I'm here now with his daughter, Elisa Mangles, and you might learn to just paddle in this boat, right? <laughs> right. That's what I've been told. So it looks like we're going to try to fam carry on the family tradition. Definitely. And tell me what this means for you, because it was really something that was planned not by your family, but by no, the community. No, the community reached out, and just a week ago, we um, understood that they wanted to do something special for Dad today. So this is a great tribute for him, and he, um, very humbled by, you know, the outpouring of support to do something special, and he was very involved with the paddling community, so this is a perfect way to honor his memory. What have you heard is happening today? Well, we're going to be gathering here on the bridge, and the family is going to toss a wreath down into the water, and then we'll be having um, Relis Flores donated a ton of flowers, so we're going to have just a waterfall of flowers falling from the bridge down into the river, and the paddlers will, will go down the river, and um, John Weed is going to be pulling along Dad's kayak behind as he, um, he does the course. And this has been very hard for you because obviously Epi's great race is just in a week and your dad won't be there. It's the first race that he will miss. So how are you coping with that? Yeah, you know, it's, it's turning out to be a, an emotional morning, but um, I'm just, you know, really thrilled with all of the uh, support that we've gotten. And, you know, it's just so great to be able to continue the race in his memory. I know he's upstairs just smiling down and just very happy to have the camera time and, and get the Epi's name out there and um, encourage people to come out and participate in the race. And this was so important in the race for your dad. Tell me what it meant for him. He was so involved with the community and, you know, he has been a one-man show with a huge team of volunteers getting this race going and keeping it going over the years. And quite honestly, you know, I didn't realize how much work he did. And with my brother George and I stepping in, and, you know, George has certainly run things here in Sacramento. But um, just, you know, he was so, this is what he did. This is his legacy. And he, after the restaurants, um, you know, he sold the restaurants, this, is became, this became what he lived for every year. So everything was very race-oriented in his life. And he definitely, you know, would look forward to the, um, the next year. And um, he was very committed. So this is exciting for us to be able to, you know, keep this going. And you're definitely keeping his legacy going. Your dad wanted you guys to learn to paddle. You guys aren't paddlers by nature, but no, we're not. His uh, paddle, his boat's right here, and you guys are going to take it on. I'm sure it'll be a fun challenge. You know, I think <laughs> that we're up to it, and uh, we'll have John take us out for a family kayaking lesson, and who okay. knows, maybe we'll be in the race sometime soon. All right, thank you so much, Lisa. That special tribute happens here along the American River Sunrise Footbridge at 10 this morning. Come on out. They're definitely hoping that a lot of spectators will be here. If you have a kayak, bring it out as well. You can get in the water and take part in this wonderful tribute for Epi. Reporting live here along the American River in Sacramento County, I'm Leticia Wardaz, KCLRA 3 News. Great man, great race. Thank you, Leticia.